All right, folks, I'm uh, going to do a quick walk around video here on my CJ7 I'm posting on eBay. I bought and sold and owned hundreds of cars, and uh, most of the time I put them on eBay to sell, and I always make a walk around video. That way you know exactly what you're getting. Um, I've owned many CJ7s, and um, I'm a little more... Um, partial to the CJ7s than the CJ5s just because of the longer wheelbase um, but I've owned many of them and, and this is a, a really nice one that I've had fun driving and uh, it, it drives really straight down the road everything works on it top to bottom it's just a really clean well-built Jeep um, gonna do gonna walk around the car here and kind of show you some things that way you see it up close in person it's a really nice Jeep it's not a uh, you know good guy show winner, but it's just a really nice clean Jeep. You've got some kind of some marking around the edge right here, a little bit of wear, and that's from the top going on and off. And you're going to get that with any Jeep, um, but I just want to kind of point everything out to you. The whole bed and roll bar is coated in Raptor liner, so it's a really tough spray on bed liner not rolled on this is professionally sprayed on it's a two-part system so it has a hardener in it and I've always um, had great success with it the seats are both brand new front and rear um, those are rugged ridge seats they're black denim they have it they have kind of a, a neoprene ish denim -y feel to them really nice Again, had these in other Jeeps before, really happy with them. They appear a little gray in my camera, but these are a nice, rich black. We'll go to the inside here. All your gauges work like they should. Uh, both temp gauges, the one on the main dial there and the one right here are hooked up to the block. I've got them both hooked up. You've got all your buttons here for your accessories. These are your lights in front these are for the ones on the bumper these are for the ones right here you can see those right there and then if I turn them off there you go these are this button right here is your electric fans so it's an aluminum rate aluminum radiator with electric fans this thing will not overheat um, let's see here. Four-wheel drive, full stereo system with the two wake tower speakers up here. You have your grab handles to get in and out of. These are great if you can see it. They are not going anywhere. They look like they're loose and they slide, but they're nice to have. I'm not the tallest guy, so it's nice to pull myself up into these. You've got a fire extinguisher mounted back here. You've also got a high lift jack, so if you get a flat tire, you can jack the Jeep up. You've got a full size spare back. All the tires are BFG KOs. Uh, custom bumper, you have dual exhaust. Let's see here, you have diamond plate on the side there with some, with some rockers. Get your full size fender flares. These are aftermarket flares. Uh, much wider than the factory flares, which would have been about an inch or so. Uh, custom bumper. You've got some shackles up front. Worn winch with your lead for the winch controller right here. Again, everything works exactly like it should. You've got a nice roller fair lead with a hook in it. Uh, these are H4 conversion headlights, so they're modern headlights. Very bright, very nice. There's your rear bumper. This swings out. Oh, there is a little imperfection on this tire carrier here. So this tire carrier, I'm trying to demonstrate it, swings out like that. And you've got access to the rear. The previous owner before me put two little pads here. And I will probably put two more pads here. This tire carrier right here 
hits right here when you put it in. So I'll go ahead and I'll put two little rubber pads there so it, it's covered again. I've never had an issue with it because it's pretty tight on there. So um, you have a trailer hitch. You also have trailer wiring. So if you want to run a little trailer, you can. Let me pull down the rear here. There you go. Again, that's all been Raptor linered. The seat here is a fold and tumble seat, so yeah. I can't do it with one hand. So this latch comes up, the seat folds down, and then you tumble it forward. So you have all sorts of room in the back here. It's like having a full size seat. Give me just a second. Tire carrier goes on like this. Slides on, pins down, comes across, and it's secure. Again, really the only imperfections are right around the top here. If you go around the whole top of the Jeep, there's just little, you know, tidbits here and there from the top going on and off. Other than that, the paint is really clean, really nice. You got a little bit of rubbing. Where is it? You got a little bit of something going on right here. Um, some marring right here. This could all be buffed out very easily. I've never cut and buffed this Jeep. I've really just wiped it down and put wax on it once or twice. The paint's pretty, pretty darn nice. A couple little rock chips in the front here. Again, this probably might be able to might come out with some buffing, but just want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. Windshield wipers work. Speedo's accurate. Everything works on it just like it should. It comes with the soft doors, which you see pictured here. And you get hard doors as well, which is rare. Uh, come those wintertime months, you'll, you're going to want to put the hard, hard doors on there. Um, and the hard top is also lined with Raptor liner. So you get a hard top, a bikini top, soft doors, hard doors, and a bunch of other goodies that I'll maybe put into a video when I have the hard top on and join it with this video. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'll end this one. I'll make another video with the hard top and then go from there. All right, here's the Jeep with the hard top on. Again, this is also coated in Raptor liner. It's a really nice top. I'm a big fan of the hard tops. If you've ever had a Jeep with a soft top, um, they are a major pain in the ass. A lot of people think, you know, oh, I'll go out with my Jeep and have fun, and if it starts to rain, I'll take the soft top on them. You no, know, it. They're a, they're a pain to put on and off. So um, I, I like the hard tops. You either have it on or you, you take it off. And that's the way it is. I, I don't mess around with soft tops anymore. They've always just been a pain. Um, a couple other things I forgot to mention. Uh, I do have a RV carrier with the, the hitch mount. It goes into here and here. comes out and it triangulates with a uh, trailer hitch on it so you can tow it behind an RV. That'll come with the Jeep. Also, I have a, if you're interested, a large cargo rack that comes up and comes up like this, over the tire, back down with a flat kind of cargo rack that sticks out. There aren't any provisions on this tire carrier, carrier for it, so you'd have to uh, find a way to uh, install it um, but uh, if you'd like that included, I certainly wouldn't mind throwing that in there. So yeah, there's the hard top. Um, let's get under the engine bay here. See what's going on under there. Set the phone down. Here's your engine bay. Pretty nice engine bay. Um, 
I coated the entire inside of it with uh, the Raptor liner. So all the dirt. I really haven't detailed this thing much. I probably should have for photos, but I gave it just a nice little wipe down. But anyways, uh, you got Raptor liner on the inner fenders. It's all on the back firewall there and uh, down to the bottom. So it, it goes all the way down there. It's really, it's easy to wipe off. It's, it's a nice substance. So you've got your custom air cleaner there, uh, polished intake manifold, uh, Chevrolet valve covers, chrome headers, a new water pump, let's see here, an Edelbrock uh, 600 carburetor. Um, you've got power brakes, um, power steering, an aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. You have a polished overflow tank over there. You have a brand new Exide battery, all new Taylor spark plug wires. Um, all new spark plugs, uh, all new heater hoses, new chrome alternator. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> you got your horn in here, your windshield wiper fluid reservoirs down there. Um, I mean, it just, Jeep runs great, looks great, drives great. It's just a really nice piece. Kind of go around it. You've got your fuse box here, which is the fuse for your uh, your electric fans and your front lights here on the pillars and your front lights here. So it's got its own little fuse box here. So there's that. Let's see if I can maybe give this a start. It's cold right now. Let's see here. Try to do this with my hand here. There we go. So I, it's all brand new exhaust. I had my uh, guy run it out on the corners. And it looks really nice under that custom bumper. You've got the larger 20 gallon fuel tank under there. And the exhaust, you probably won't be able to see, but all really nicely run. All brand new. Bilstein shocks on all four corners. There's your stereo. Um, so. There's your backlighting for your gauges and your controls. So you can adjust it right here on the left with your lights. You can, just like it should. <laughs> Let's see if I can maybe rev it up a little bit. so I don't want to go crazy here. Um, horn works. Just like it should. I'm trying to think of anything else. Because, um, the windows roll up and down very nicely on both sides. They are lockable doors, so they lock. Here's the center console. I didn't have that in my last video. I forgot I had this. I never got around to installing it, but it's a, uh, um, and the reason is because I sometimes will crawl in the back for stuff. Um, you can't really see that, can you? But it's a nice uh, denim matching center console. Lifts up, and I've got some stereo information there with some cup holders here and some cup holders in the back. So that'll come with the Jeep as well. Uh, doors close nicely. So there you go. Um, let's see here. If you're interested in the Jeep, um, go ahead and bid on it or give me a call and let's see if we can make a deal on it. 
Um, like I said in my ad, I'm a licensed dealer. Um, I ship hundreds and hundreds of cars all around the world. Um, you know, just give me a call, see if we can work something out. Most of my cars typically do not make it till the end of the auction. I'll get a call from someone, and we'll see what we can do, and uh, we'll get, get get the deal done, and I'll get it shipped to your doorstep. I've got a couple fleet shipping accounts, so I'll handle the shipping arrangements. Um, a clean title in hand. You'll get all the paperwork and proper documentation. Uh, even before the car arrives. So once I receive payment, I next day air the documents to you. That way you have those before the car even arrives. Um, if you have any questions or need additional photos, just let me know. Send me an eBay message, give me a text, give me a call, whatever you want. I can take photos of whatever you want or any questions you have, whatever. Send them to me. I try to be as open as I can because uh, I'm a car guy. I mean, I I love cars. I, this is what I do. So I'm, I'm passionate about it. You're not going to deal with some big dealership that uh, doesn't know what they're doing and has someone answering the phone that that hasn't a clue about what car they're selling. Uh, I know all my cars. I drive them all. Um, I actually made my money in a different profession, and this is more of a hobby for me. I run it as a business, but it, it, it's more of a passion for me. So um, like I said, give me a call and ask me any questions you might have. Thanks.